Welcome to this edition of Empower 305. I have a very special guest, someone that is very, very important in our community, especially among the youth. And that is Executive Director of Miami Pal, Andre Barnes. Oh, thank you for having me today. This is fun, it's different, but thank you. Um, excited for the things that we have planned for 2024. Um, this upcoming year, we have a lot of special projects, so can't wait. Bring me back to when Miami Pal started. So it stands for Miami Police Athletic League, right? Correct, correct. So we started in 1995. Um, it's an initiative where we were trying to make sure that we build a positive relationship between cops and the community. Uh, we wanted to be one of those programs where kids could come and just enjoy being around officers, but not only officers, but other members of the community as well and just have a safe haven during those critical hours between three and eight where they can be safe but also be provided with mentorship through various programming and we're still here today what about the sports uh so we have a <laughs> very competitive yeah, too right a lot, a lot. so we've, we've done pretty well lately um so we have tackle football flag football we have cheerleading which is probably actually our most successful program um, they brought home, I think, four state championships wow. this year, as well as a lot of local championships as well. Uh, we have basketball, which is going on now. We started up boxing in the end of 2023, so we're excited about that to see how that continues. Um, we have track and field, which has actually had a couple national champions um, throughout the years, and they're all run by officers, so that's really cool component of it, something that makes it a little different and special. I know track is track is really important too. It is. It is. It's um, one of our largest programs. We have about 140 youth on that program with Officer Moise, and he does. Yeah, amazing. Malcolm. Yeah. Officer Malcolm yeah. Moise. He's been yeah. there for years, and he's very competitive. Yeah. He makes sure everyone is on point. Yeah. Diet him, wise too, right? Yeah. They call him <laughs> Coach Ballhead. I'm still getting used to that, but <laughs> the kids. That's all they call him. But they all run to him. They love him. Any issues they have, they've always felt felt free to call him. At any point that's in time. great the mentorship that goes behind that so these are these are children bring me back so mm -hmm. these are kids anywhere between five the age of five up to 18 correct well actually 21 because we have our explorer program so that's as long right. as you're it's still in college you can still be a part of the explorer program as well we have one of the largest programs in fact since we have three posts most cities only have one but we have three um, in the north central and south districts so mm -hmm. It makes it accessible to all kids throughout the city of Miami. If you're in the Grove or all the way up to Little Haiti, you can still find a spot in the program, which is... I know Officer Carla Gonzalez is one of... She's the best one, I guess. She's the one that knows that brings home the first place trophy. Very competitive, so, yes, too. Yes, very competitive. She's out there running the kids now. Uh, they'll actually go into Explore Competition um, over spring break. So we actually captured first and third place uh, last year. So we had two, play two posts to place and the other one did really well as well so we're excited to see how 2024 goes I kind of remember you had some uh you had homework also mm -hmm. um to add to the component of sports yes. and everything yes. else um so we have our after school program which runs in the little haiti area um it's super special to us so it actually has stem components as well so they work on robotics they work on um, digital design. So they've done a lot of special things with that program, as well as the homework help. So we're trying to make sure that these kids are working on their grades. They use the IXL program so that each one has an individual customized program. So each kid is getting specific help on what their needs are. And that's super important to us. How about sponsorship? We have some great sponsors. We've been very blessed. The city of Miami obviously is our main sponsor and we appreciate that. Um, we also have AT&T, Coke Florida, uh, Jensen's one of our newest sponsors that has helped <laughs> us out, uh, Brayman, Miami, the Community Police Relations Foundation, who's helped out with the ice cream truck that I'm sure a lot of people have seen. Everybody loves to yeah, see yeah, the yeah, ice yeah, cream yeah. truck. Yeah. So, Everyone thank you. runs, runs <laughs> to the ice cream truck wherever it goes throughout the Man, city, huh? It's crazy. The adults almost try to get over the kids, but we have to make sure that the kids get it first, so... Um, we appreciate the Community Police Relations Foundation for their help and assistance with that, uh, cooling off the kids in these hot summer months. Well, Miami's always hot, yeah. but during the hot summer months especially. In addition to everything that you do, what's mm -hmm. the core function? I know that there was a slogan back in the day about mm -hmm. filling playgrounds yes. and not prisons. Yeah, so it's uh, filling playgrounds, um, not prisons, just to keep the kids safe. We're trying to make sure that we give them enough things to keep them on track 
so that we don't have to worry about officers later on down the, round, down the line, you know, having to put them in, into jail or arresting them or causing just negative situations in general. Because sometimes it's not jail, but maybe it's other situations that they're dealing with in the home or in their communities. If we can give them positive things to be able to deal with those situations, then they can be away from those negative situations that sometimes happen. Um, and I think we've really tried to hone in on that. So do you have to live within the city limits to be able to participate in Miami POW or to we, join, uh, obviously, the mm -hmm. um, Police Explorer program? I mean, obviously, we try to take care of our city of Miami residents first, um, but we try not to deny any kids. You have some kids that go to school in the city of Miami but may not live in the city of Miami or their parents work in the city of Miami, but they don't live in the city of Miami. And you have other unique situations that also come up where a kid just really needs that extra assistance. So no matter, we try to make sure that we take care of those kids, but obviously, you know, home is first. So city of Miami residents always will take priority. Where where can someone either visit your webpage or call for additional information? Okay. So we have our website, which is always up. For sponsorship too, yes, right? Always. Sponsors are so welcome. <laughs> sponsors are definitely welcome. We're actually working on some new things um, to further highlight some of our sponsors. But if you can always visit us at www.miamipal.org. Um, you can reach out to us by phone or email. All of that contact information is there. Our social media, we've really grown that as awesome. well. Awesome. Yes, you uh, have. We have a new POW media program. So our kids are doing some of these podcasting and video and editing and things like that. We have an officer that helps out with that as well, Officer Etienne. So that's our new growing program that's really took, taken off in the last year. So please feel free to follow us, join us, email us. However, we'll be sure to make sure we get back to you. So you you mentioned earlier, you mentioned boxing, right? Yes, yes. Wasn't the mayor, Mayor Francis yeah, Suarez, there too one he day? He was there. He was actually kind of tired. I think he only made it through maybe 15, 10, 15 minutes. It's something that's, man, he got there. I think he thought it was going to be really simple. And <laughs> it was a little bit. We appreciate him coming out and joining the kids. Uh, the kids were super excited. I think they even walked away with some toys during the holiday season. So... Uh, we always appreciate Mary Francis for all of his work awesome. um, and dedication to the program. Whenever we speak on anything that's dealing with POW, he's always there to step up, and we appreciate that. It's so nice to see how um, you have the mayor, you have the officers heavily mm -hmm. involved, yes. and how you know the kids are so receptive to seeing mm -hmm. it. I, obviously, through the years, I've seen it with you, and as an officer, I've been on there on the football field, yes. I've been out there on the track. It's, it's so awesome to see how competitive it is, it is. but yet putting smile on their faces and how the, the, actually the, the police explorer program, how many of them have later become officers. There's a lot of police officers that we have on the force today that were once upon a time. Um, my partner in public information is Officer Chiara oh. Delva. She was a police explorer. <laughs> as well. As and well. later she joined the Miami Police uh, family yeah. and she became my partner later on. No, Very no. proud of her. We are super blessed. I mean, it goes all the way from the mayor to our chief, uh, even to our commissioners that have always supported everything that we've done. Um, we can't do it without them. But even more so than that, I would say the kids for and their parents for wanting to be entrusting us with their kids. Um, we've grown every single program every year that we've had it, and we look forward to that. We don't take it lightly um, that we've built something that kids and parents can can be proud of being a part of. And, and because of that, it also brings the police aspect back where they have a further comfortability with our officers and feel comfortable with being able to speak to their local law enforcement officials. That's that's great because that's yeah. the mentorship part that yes, and yes. it's about building the bridges with the community and and that's phenomenal and I've seen mm -hmm. the great success and I think everyone else has. Yeah. And and I encourage everyone to follow Miami Police on their um, social media pages so you can see yeah. the wonderful things that they do. We and look out for that ice cream truck. Yes, yes, make <laughs> sure you guys stop it and get us some free ice cream. So it's a blessing to be able to do these things for these kids. It's been an honor. Thank you. To I have you it. join us on our podcast. You have an open invitation to come back and talk to us about the summer program that is around, it starts around May, correct? Yeah, May, June, as soon as the kids get out of school. So yeah. we're working on the 1% that our major wants us to, but we'll get there. I'm positive we'll make it Major Umset Ramos. Yes, Major Ramos. He's been an awesome addition. He's been there for about six months now, but... 
he's getting us to a new level, which is awesome. Just, Maybe we'll convince him to come to the yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's going to be exciting. You guys are going to love it. So, amazing person. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you once again. Well, thank you. That is a wrap-up for our Empowered 305. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>